Hey everyone, it's JoJo and welcome to a Bakugan Battle Planet unboxing and review. Today I have the new Bakugan Resurgence 40 card deck starter set. It comes with Aquas Pyravian, a Heos, Tertonium, and a very, very cute Darkest Cubo. So I found this at Target. I was actually really surprised to find new things at Target because they don't usually stock stuff. I was pretty lucky because when it rang up on the register, it only came up as $20 instead of the normal $30, so I wasn't complaining. But anyway, go check out your local Target to see if you have it. All right, so here's the front of the packaging. It's a very much the same layout as um, from, back, from Bakugan uh, Brawlers. And uh, yeah, that's the front here on this back side. You can see um, uh, Py Aquas Pyravian. Uh, Darkest Kobo and um, Heos Tertonium in still in their ball form and again it comes with one Bakugan Ultra, two Bakugan, six Baku cores, three character cards and four 40 ability cards and the rule book and instruction sheet and oh check this out we have a new battle arena so it looks like it's blue instead of this I'm sorry it looks like it's red instead of this blue uh, background so I wonder if they're gonna come out with uh, different colors like uh, are they gonna make a chaos one or a darkest one darkest one would be really cool and then of course we got the Baku storage carrying case and uh, yeah that's pretty much it same layout as the original and uh, even on the inside <laughs> oh it's so cute <laughs> Kubo let's take this uh, deck out and we got a uh, checklist here let's check it out let's see if uh anything new and it looks like we do have some new things here at least new to me all right ooh arliss vice rocks of course we got dragonoid hydras mantanoid um Kloptor, and hydranoid which this also comes in another starter but it comes in a, a darkest uh faction fangzor garganoid Maxator Ultra. So these are more of the older ones down here. And ooh, check that out. Hyper Dragonoid. And Killion. Truncanius. Nobilius. And yeah, Pandox. I can't wait to find that one. Uh, we got Pegatrix. We've seen this already. Uh, Lupithion. And Scorporo. Scor I can't pronounce it. Scorporos. There you go. <laughs> Phaedrus. Pyravian again, but in a uh, different faction. So it comes in um, also uh, Aquas, Pyrus, and then Arliss. And then it looks like we have the core versions: uh, Trino, Zentar, Vice Rocks. Yeah, you can go ahead and pause it to check them all out. And yeah, so some uh, new stuff. And then the, on the back, of course, is the instruction on how to change it back. I wonder if the rule book here is updated. I'm not sure. Because uh, I know there were some uh, rule updates. Hopefully they did it in the uh, resurgence one, but uh, I doubt it actually. Um, I'll go through that uh, in a little bit. And then we have our character cards here. And uh, I'll just take everything out and then show each part individually. Oh, hey, look, wait. Check this out. Problems, questions, and uh, we got like a customer care uh, service here. That's pretty nice. So Spin Master has actually been pretty uh, uh, good about um, you know customer service. If like a Bakugan is uh, is uh, broken or something like that, they'll replace it. But it it probably won't be the same. It's just like a random one. But still, at least you're getting something else. But uh, anyway, enough of that. I know I'm kind of stalling a little bit. Let's get to the deck and the Bakugan. So first of all, we're going to start off with the three Bakugan, their character cards, and the Baku cores. So here are the Baku cores. We got a magic shield. Wow, negative 500. I think that's the most I've uh, seen. And then plus 500 for the second mag magic shield. And then a regular shield, plus 150, plus one. Another one, plus 250. And then a flaming fist. Plus, plus 150 plus four a lot of pluses here and then plus five for the last flaming fist yeah a lot of pluses uh minus that uh negative uh 500 all right so here are the character cards aquas pyravian ultra you need two magic shields to play it and we got this really cool artwork i'm guessing this is kind of like a stock i 
uh, image of Pyravian, and then like they changed the colors of uh, the faction. So since it's Aquas, it's kind of shooting off like water. And then if it was Pyrus, it would probably be, be flames instead. Um, but I'm not sure. This is my first one, so I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, 400B, and then two damage. We have Chaos Tritonium. You need two Flaming Fists to play it. It's 205 damage, and it picks if it picks up a Flaming Fist, 600. That's really good. And then cute <laughs> Kobo. You need two shields, two regular shields. It's two and seven damage. That's an insane amount <laughs> of damage. Uh, pretty weak in B power, so you really got to buff it up or um, shoot negatives toward your uh, your opponents. And then here we have. The Bakugan. Let's start off with Kobo because look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so when I first saw this, I thought this was just like a novelty uh, Bakugan, like non-playable, just kind of like for collection, but uh, you could actually play this. I'm really surprised. And oh my goodness. And even though it kind of lacks a lot of detail, it's just too cute to say it's a bad looking, uh, bad looking Bakugan. It's it's adorable <laughs> and it's a really really smooth all the way around so uh, you could easily roll this so obviously we have the face here and uh, the teeth the nose kind of menacing looking the teeth really and then here these two spots are his ears which pop up um, when it opens and the only other thing that really pops up when it opens is this bottom part um, which are the legs and feet and arms so it's like it's a really simple looking Bakugan, but also a very adorable looking Bakugan. Alright, and then next up we have Chaos Tertonium, which I have reviewed this before. I reviewed the uh, Ventus version. This is just Chaos now. Um, I'm just going to repeat myself from that video. Uh, lots of really good detail, especially that shell right there. Um, you can see the chin. That's actually the head there too. And the little tail on the back. Uh, really good detail on the toes. Nice paint job overall. And uh, yeah, oh, even the, the belly, the belly of the turtle there. Yeah, overall, again, just really good detail on uh, uh, Tertonium. Now we have the Bakugan Ultra Aquas Pyravian. And wow, check that out. Love the feather detail there. Uh, really, really nice. I mean, again, like with a lot of ultras, you're going to have all these weird bumps and stuff around. But yeah, again, so I love the detail of the um, the feathers. I don't really, I haven't really talked about the aquas paint scheme. Uh, I really like it. I like, again, I just like colors that contrast, which is why I'm not a huge fan of the Ventus one. Um, with uh, aquas, it has two different shades of blue with this really nice orange against it. So again, it just makes it pop and brings out a little bit more of the detail here. Uh, yeah, and then here is the magnet. This is actually the tail part of, uh, like the tail feather of uh, Pyravian. Even got some little fe feathers engraved in there. All right, let's uh, open up these Bakugan. Let's see how they transform. Uh, for Tritonia, I'm just gonna open it because We've seen this before. It kind of just pops up. The legs pop up and then the head pops up. Show you a nice uh, overview of uh, this all transformed. And then a uh, 200B right there printed on the chest. And the head sculpt on this one, I definitely love a lot better than the Ultra version. Ultra version just looks kind of creepy. <laughs> all right, and to close them up, very easy. Close up the legs, and then you just bring up the head and the and the tail. And that's it. So for Kubo, let's set this up a little bit more properly. Kubo also has a very simple um, transformation. So three, two, one, and <laughs> just pops up like that. <laughs> Probably not the best angle, but here we have Kubo. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so adorable. Oh, they even have like little paint on the ears here. So it's not just all black. So yeah, it looks like the inside, the inner, the inner ear. And uh, you can see more of that menacing green teeth here. Oh, it's so adorable. And uh, now we can see its little arms here on the side, which uh, don't really move. On, um, they do move when you push it back in. But uh, other than that, not, not really, not much, just a little bit. 
And then we have some uh, painted toes, the chest painted, and we can see a little bit more of the detail there on uh, the chest, or the stomach, rather. Um, 200B, and uh, here's the back parts, kind of like a little backpack, just painted green. And yeah, and that is Kobo. So to transform Kobo back, you just push the ears in, and then push the body in itself, and that's it. <laughs> that's so cute. All right, now this is gonna be my first time rolling Pyravian, so hopefully I could get this right and we could get a really nice shot of it on camera. Oh, wow, it did a really nice flip, but it didn't hold on to the core and it got a plus 250. But yeah, here is Aquas Pyravian. And check, look at the look at the spread on that Bakugan. It just lays flat. But it, it's still, it's a really, really wide, wide Bakugan. It kind of reminds me of, like, Serpentese a little bit, if it was, like, laying flat. <laughs> but I think this is bigger than Serpentese. I think this is also might, this also might be bigger than Garganoid in, in terms of, like, wingspan. Uh, but yeah, looks, um, it looks okay, in my opinion. The face is kind of, kind of weird. Um, let me bring out the card. So the card has like, you know, the artwork has a really big crest on its head and so does it here, but it's really hard to make out where the eyes are and the beak, in my opinion. Um, I think they should have painted that in. And um, I think that's probably my only complaints, really, about um, Pyravian. It's just got a weird face. It's not really distinct. It kind of looks like a, like a dinosaur. <laughs> All right, and so... Here we got this really awesome wingspan um, across uh, the back there. It looks really nice. Really love these feathers down here. Um, there are no manual parts, so I, I, I believe not. Actually, no. Uh, well, not necessarily. I'll get to that in a little bit. So these do spring out when it opens. Same thing on this side. And here on the back, kind of like its, uh, its legs. They do have these... Um, little things that do come up, but that's about it. They kind of like just dangle there for me. And yeah, that is uh, the back part. And then here is the tail with the B power printed on it. Uh, here's a side view of uh, the body. Really nice detail in there. I wish they kind of added a little bit more orange on the inside because there's a lot of orange everywhere else just to point out different details. Um, I kind of wish that, yeah, again, they would just do that on the inside. Um, kind of weird. <laughs> I wish it didn't lie so flat. I think they were trying to make it a little bit more distinct than Serpentese, because Serpentese is also, like, really has a nice, um, uh, like, stance to it, and so does the artwork here, but, I th again, I think they were just trying to distinguish it you know, uh, make it a little bit more different from each other. Um, it would have been great if it was, you know, kind of like Serpentese standing up like this. Though that would that would look so awesome. Um, except kind of like for now, it kind of looks a little empty on the inside. There's not a lot of detail going on on the inside there. But it, I, again, I think it would have been great if it was standing up like this and the tail was kind of back a little bit more. But uh, in a like strategic way, you could cover basically all of the Baku cores around you. So if you had, um, you know, your Baku con or your Baku cores here set up on the Hive Matrix, you could just dominate, cover that whole thing, block your opponent from taking everything. So th it's this feels like it's a little bit more uh, built around strategy rather than um, posability. But yeah, it's. Yeah, just ch check out that spread. It's kind of like, um, like uh, Fangzor, the core Fangzor, where it, where it just, you know, it blocks the one in front of it, or it can knock your uh, opponent in a way. This also has that uh, potential. But yeah, it, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty great. Um, again, my only complaint is the face is kind of weird. <laughs> and to transform this guy back, it's fairly easy. Um, I don't remember what the... Uh, challenge meter is okay so the challenge meter on this guy is one which again very 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 easy tuck the head in bring the tail over and over like this 
and it doesn't lock so you kind of have to hold it which is it's it's not that hard actually you know it does it does lock I'm sorry and then so you're left here and you don't have to hold on to anything uh, so you bring in the tip of this wing bring it in just fold it all in just like that and that locks same thing here fold it all in and that locks and this here these dangly parts fold those in you kind of have to do it at the same time a little bit and that's oh no nope. <laughs> and that's it there you go very very easy now we have the 40 card deck and i've got the character cards back there for you and right away i've noticed a lot of the starter decks they are printed very very weird um it looks lighter it almost kind of like it looks a little fake but um ventus knight said that they have two uh factories that print the cards and one of them just happens to print it like this which is very very strange so um it, it's not fake it's just it's just a different uh like variation it's just it's just weird it's so it's, it's not really consistent all right so first of all we have a flip card sonic shield one energy uh, stop a Bakugan holding a fist or flaming fist. We got two of those. Uh, darkest snare. Stop a Bakugan holding a magic shield. Two of those. And then mind slip for two energy. Choose a player to discard a card and you may reroll your Bakugan. Dark path plus 300B. Darkest hell plus 400 sacrifice discard and you get plus 1000 instead uh, we have two of those uh, darkest slicer plus 200 if that bakugan's holding a green fist plus three damage and another mind slip um uh, another dark path <laughs> uh, darkest petrify negative five damage another darkest petrify all right so now we have our aquas cards unstoppable Plus 600 if that Bakugan is holding a fist. Plus 2 Frost Strike. Two of those. Water to Ice. Plus 5 damage if that Bakugan hold, is holding a shield. Draw a card. And then Dark Waters. Plus 200 and you may re-roll re your Bakugan. Got two of those. And Claw Cutter. Plus 4 damage. Two of those. And another Water to Ice. Flip cards, flash flood. Choose a non-energy card in play and return it to its owner's hand. Uh, two of those. All right, so we have some Hales cards now. Divine Inspiration, plus seven. Two of these. And uh, going back to Aquas, Riptide, four energy. You must re-roll your Bakugan. If you open on the re-roll, that Bakugan gets plus 500 B and, and you might draw two cards. So you basically are taking a second chance to have a greater reward so we got two of those and we have another um oh no not another one this is our first one so dark fortune search your deck for an evil card reveal it and put it into your hand then shuffle your deck uh dazzle stop a bakugan holding a flip um, i'm sorry not a flip a helix it is a flip card and then we have a hero shun kazami when you open a bakugan you may draw a card uh, dust to dust plus 300 sacrifice you may discard a card to draw two lost at sea oh plutonium <laughs> flip a coin if it's heads stop the attack wow that's actually really really good okay um 50 50 chance and then mud pit plus 400 uh, flow if you have played another card this turn plus four frost strike and we've got another hero when you open a Bakugan, it gets plus 100. Uh, Shargo Ronin, so you get two of these. And it's really cheap, so it's basically a free 200B. And then Karmi, or Karmic Balance, sorry. Uh, plus three Frost Strike to a Chaos Bakugan, and two of those. And then we have another Mud Pit down in the back. So that is it for my unboxing of the Bakugan Resurgence 40 card starter set with Aquas Pyravian Ultra, Darkest Cubo, and Chaos Tritonium. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time with more. See you soon.